Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today it's Christmas, well, it's not Christmas, but it's it's November. Let's be real here. Um, but I did put up a little bit of Christmas decorations just now for this video. Um, today we're gonna to be going through the Lush Christmas range. Now I do have one or two bits that isn't from the Lush Christmas range. Um, they're from just normal range or limited edition stuff. Um, but mostly the Lush Christmas range. And Lush Christmas is where it's at every year. Um, if you've not been to my channel before, I usually do a Halloween, which I've already done, and a Lush haul um, for Christmas. And I might do one or two throughout the year, but th this time of year is when, when it happens. So between the Halloween range coming out and Christmas range coming out, this is where you buy your Wrath products. I swear it is the most exciting time for me. I love it. Um, my preferences are usually bath bombs, bubble bars, that kind of thing. I love me a shower gel. Lush shower gels are so, so good. And I have one to show you today. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I want to get into it. I do sound a bit nasally because I've got a bit of a sinus infection happening right now. Yeah, it's fun. I love it. Um, but I feel fine, so that's great. Um, so I'm gonna go through everything. I'm gonna give you some smells, some ingredients, all that kind of stuff, and let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a couple of bits that isn't from the Christmas range. I think one, two, maybe three, I'm not sure, isn't from the Christmas range. That is part of like the body shower gel, the things that come in bottles and tubs and everything like that, not the bubble bars and not the bath bombs, everything else basically that I have. Um, so I'm gonna start off with something that you can get at any given time and I would always recommend getting one. Um, this is the charity pot. The one, the charity that this one is for is the Refugee Rights Europe. Um, stands for the Human Rights of Refugees and Displaced People. Um, I just got the small tub because that's all I needed. Um, I love the really small little metal tins that they sell. They're like 150 or something like that. Um, and this is basically a hand and body lotion and it's the best hand cream, especially when you're washing your hands so much, obviously, with everything that's going on, you're washing your hands even more than you normally would. Um, those little coins, or not coins, those little tins are so good for throwing into your bag because they don't even take up any space. It's like smaller than your lip balm, so they're great. Um, so what I decided to do was buy the big one and I've loads of those little tins, so I'm gonna just fill them up with this, which is gonna be fun. And I love this. And um, the scent on this, it's kind of a, uh, kind of woody, but like sweet as well. In it, it's got rosewood oil and moringa oil. I have my phone down here so I can tell you exactly what's in it. It's just super nice and hydrating. It, for me, when I use a hand cream, I like to still have a little bit of residue on my hands. I know not a lot of people like to absorb really quickly, but then my hands feel dry again. So I need something that's gonna leave a little bit of that nice creaminess on my hands for a little while and then my hands feel good. So that's that one. Okay, and then the next thing that I got is a face mask, face and body mask. Um, I think this is permanent as well. Um, this is the Beauty Sleep face and body mask. Um, it says here, a luxurious face mask with an extra spoonful of gorgeous in it. It may even help you sleep. So it's like lavender and everything like that. But the gorgeous is actually a moisturizer that they sell in Lush, but it's quite expensive. So they've actually put some of that moisturizer into this face mask and it's so good. I have used it once, I think maybe twice, but I've definitely used it once. Oh, was that a nice face mask? Oh, it was so nice. Just felt really nice. Smelled amazing. Um, in this face mask, you have got neroli oil, ground organic aduki beans, I think, is it? That's su it's got a lot of stuff, by the way. <laughs> the ingredients list for this is big. Um, so it's got linseeds and mulline, soothing honey, um, lemon verbena herbs, valerian swirled into a fresh coconut emulsion then finished off with a dollop of gorgeous moisturizer lavender and tonka essential oils create calm yeah it's so sweet but also lavender and also it just feels luxurious on your face it's so pretty it does kind of separate a little bit so what like you can kind of see the syrupiness of it Oh, it smells so good. Um, so I give it a nice little swish around with your finger, but it's that like nice kind of pinky purpley kind of color. Very nice, would recommend. Okay, and the last thing that I don't think from this section anyway, that is a Christmas thing. I don't know, it says limited edition on the website and it was out with the Christmas stuff, but have I been waiting for this? 
if you've ever watched any of my videos, ever watched anything of anything from me, um, you know how much I love the bright side bulb bars, the big orange one, it smells like pure orange juice. Oh my God, I've been, I want a range. I will buy everything. Shower gels, face masks, body lotions, bath bombs, bubble bars, bath oils, face oils, shampoo bar. I will have it all if it comes out in that range and they've made a little start. So this is the orange shower scrub and it has that scent. It has the bright side scent. It's, oh my God, and it looks like crushed, like an, an orange slushy. Oh my god, it just oh it makes me salivate. It's so so good. Um on this one here it says, and I got I got this size tub because I'm pretty sure this was the only size they had left in store when I got it. Um so I don't mind because it's divine. So this one here it says, let's get zesty. This naturally brightening sea salt scrub is packed with vitamin C, rich orange, and uplifting essential oils. And then on the website it says it's got fresh orange juice, fine sea salt, Sicilian red mandarin oil, um, fresh orange peel, which is lovely, uh, tangerine oil, bergamot oil. Yeah, it's it just it's so nice, and I really really love it. And I'm very I'm actually really happy I got the big one. Very happy. Okay, and the next up is a hair care product. So this is the Snow Fairy Shower Shampoo Bar. Um, I've used shampoo bars a lot. I love their shampoo bars. They're amazing. They're all kind of different for different things. Um, this one's basically just Snow Fairy scented. And Snow Fairy, if you don't know, is Lush's signature Christmas scent. And you wouldn't think it when you smell it because it just smells like pure sweets and candy and candy floss and chewing gum and everything sweet it kind of almost makes your teeth decay just from smelling it and um, it doesn't really but it's that kind of sickly sweet but it's kind of something you grow to love i really like it and this is no different and i don't mind my hair smelling like this because it smells really nice um so this is shampoo bar basically like a bar of soap for your hair and it's different from a bar of soap so i wouldn't even use bar of soap because it'd be too drying these are so good they're great for traveling because they're not liquid you can just pack them as you need to and um, they sell little tins for them which i have a few of those so i like those as well um in this one here you've got persian lime oil marshmallow root powder which is where you get that real candy floss kind of smell um and synthetic musk as well is another one just smells like sweets if you like that really sweet sort of scent you're gonna really like it and i'd also recommend buying even a small bottle of the shower gel which is what everyone loves buying something like this and using it on your hair you grow to love it even if you don't think you're gonna like it you do grow to love it i did and then i grew out of it and then i grew into it again i really like it Next up then is a very different product for Lush. I don't think they've ever done these or if they have, I've never tried them anyway. So I got a small bottle just to try it. And this is the Yognog Body Milk. Um, Yognog smells like cake. It smells like toffee. It's very tasty smelling, but don't eat it. As much as you're tempted, don't eat it. Um, it just kind of smells that real caramelly cake kind of scent. I don't really know. It's it's that kind of smell. Um, I love it i have a small bottle of the shower gel but i had the soap before um and i had their um bubble bar that was scented like it as well i do really like it but i got this just to see how the formula of this is um i feel like it needs a bit of a mix around um but basically it's a moisturizer essentially but a very thin moisturizer which i don't mind with this it's actually still really moisturizing um it says here um This vegan body milk is completely self-preserving, so only use only uses natural ingredients to preserve it. Apply to dry skin and it will sink right in. Um, inside this you've got clove bud oil, ylang ylang oil, almond oil and gardenia extract. The almond oil you get a lot of, the, the clove bud oil you get a lot of. Um, it just smells like cake. I just... Yeah, just cake. It smells tasty. Um... If you go into Lush and smell this and you're hungry, you will end up buying it because that's what happened to me the first time. Okay, and then the last one was a bit of a surprise. Um, basically, I was in buying the first half and I basically went in with the intention of buying all the stuff I've never used before um, and leaving the kind of other bath bombs that I have used for bubble bars um, until I felt like I wanted them when I was filming this video, but I wanted to get the stuff first that I thought might sell out first. Um, 
and I wasn't intending on buying this because because of COVID, you can't actually open things to smell them in store. So I kind of had to trust people. So I knew what Yognog smelled like. I knew the orange was gonna smell amazing. The Beauty Sleep one, I just wanted to try it, see how it worked. Um, the bath bombs and everything I could pick up and smell, that was fine. But the bottles, I couldn't. So I wasn't going to get this. And then the manager in Lush gave it to me for free. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe because I do spend a lot of money there. Like I was get, I had already paid for all my stuff. It was not a, a thing. Um, and this is basically the roasting chestnuts on an open fire. Shower gel. But he didn't give me a little bottle. He gave me the biggest bottle that they had there. <laughs> and I don't know why. <laughs> and I was so shocked and stunned and so thankful for it. Um, I would have bought it eventually if I kind of did a bit of research on the scent. Um, just so that I'd kind of know what I was getting into because I've had kind of warm smells that I didn't like from Lush so I just wanted to do a bit of research beforehand but he just gave it to me for no reason, free of charge and it was a big ball. The freaking size is going to last me the rest of my life. I'm going to be buried with this um, and I'm so thankful for it. It's amazing. So yeah, this I, I love this a lot. Um, in this guy here, and the colour is amazing by the way. In this one here, you've got almond essential oil, oat milk, cedarwood, and cassia oil, or cassia oil, um, and fine sea salts. It's not really exfoliating as far as I can see, but it's there. Um, clary sage oil, and yeah. So it's basically really wintry, um, real Christmassy kind of smell. It smells like if you've ever used the Bouche de Noël cleanser from Lush, kind of smells like that. Um, it's so nice though, it actually really smells so Christmassy and I really like it, even though I didn't know I was gonna get it. I still really like it. I think it's really, really good that the scent is there and it's not too kind of, what's the word? Like, um, I don't like a lot of clove is basically, and I was kind of worried about that because I wasn't sure if there was clove in it or not. Um, but as far as I can see, there's not. And it's... Oh, it's got chestnut puree in it as well. Mm. Nice. I'm very excited to bust into this. It's so nice. Okay, so we're going to move on to bubble bars. And I'm going to start with the one that I... I'm pretty sure only one of these is not from the Christmas range. But this one definitely isn't. Because this came out with the big launch that they did with the bubble bars during the summer. Like they did with the bath bombs the year before. Um, they basically just launched like 50 of them. And it was really nice. I didn't really buy any of them because I don't get through bubble bars that often. But this is the Abracadabra bubble bar. It's a little magic wand. Look at that. And look at the stars. How cute are they? They're so pretty. There they are. Look how cute they are. It's such a cute little bubble bar. It's kind of like a little kind of purple from what I can see around the edges and these sides are white. But there's a reason I got this. So this has um, the same scent as the Sultana soap, which is one of my favourite soaps. Oh, something moved. Oh, they fell. <laughs> um, the Sultana soap is my favourite soap. I don't always use soap, but if I pick one soap from Lush ever, that is Sul the Sultana soap is the one. Um, Blackberry Bath Bomb, it's that scent. Um, Bewitch Bubble Bar, it's that scent. It's very sweet and woodsy and musky as well. Makes you just want to wash yourself because it smells clean, but in a really interesting way, not just like a soapy kind of way. Oh my God, it's so nice. Um, this one here has got bergamot oil and olibanum oil in it. It's got glycerin, which is hydrating, and cornstarch. Yeah, basically you crumple it under your top and it makes lots of bubbles. I tend to, for something like this, I probably do it in thirds or quarters. You don't need a lot. If your water pressure is high, you do not need a lot of these. You will have a lot of bubbles. So I always kind of break them up and that's why I don't really get through them as much. But how cute, magic wand. Okay, next is a super fun one if you want to get a, a present for someone like a little girl or something like that or a little boy who wants something very pretty for their bath and um, I don't know, I think this is really cute. This is called, what are you called? So you're called the mermaid tail. Look how cute that is and it's so sparkly on the tail. Um, the bottom part here, the swirly part, is the bubble bar and this bit up here is actually the bath oil so you can take it out, use it as a bath oil um, you can use it all in one, you can do it separately, whichever way you want to do it. Um, so you'll, your bath oil will be really moisturised and I'll just put a, a little bit of oil into your bath. It's so nice, I love them. Um, and this one here has got lemon myrtle oil, grapefruit oil, ylang ylang oil, which I love, and fair trade organic cocoa butter, which I think is what the oil is. Um, 
super fresh super nice especially for kids as well because it's a very soft but nice and fresh kind of smell super fun i imagine the color of your water is going to be delightful um, and yes i'm an absolute child and i'm going to enjoy this so much okay and then next up is another one of the same kind of style bubble bars this one here is called kinky boots isn't that cute it's santa going down the chimney it's cute and um, the boots again are the oil and um, so you can take that out as well and they're kind of like a dark purpley kind of color um, and then the bottom is the bubble bar this one here is a little bit more floral um, still kind of sweet but floral and really nice as well again kind of cute for kids because it's Santa I think that'd be really fun and um, same idea with the other one you crumple under your bath with the bubble bar and then with the oil I mean I would actually chop that in half and do one boot per bath and get two out of it which would be fun um, and with the hot water it just melts naturally with the oil it's so nice this one here has got fair trade organic cocoa butter which is the boots i'm imagining um jasmine absolute and clary sage oil so the jasmine is kind of like floral but sweet the clary sage oil is more floral and it's just it's nice it's really nice i think it'd be really fun in your bath and the last bubble bar is might look familiar but it's not the same as what you think it is um this one here is a snow fairy roll it looks exactly like the bright side bubble bar except for that's orange or the comforter which is actually just a darker pink um like a purpley kind of pink this is a super bright neon pink it's the color is amazing and i think the water is going to turn out amazing it's huge by the way you will easily i i personally with my water pressure would very easily get like six seven maybe eight baths even out of this because i would literally cut off like that much and i would have so many bubbles out of just that these rolls are amazing by the way the bubbles you get off them are so soft and fluffy and um, this is snow fairy so it's the exact same as the snow fairy everything um that real candy sweet sickly sort of sweet sort of smell um sugary just like just like candy candy floss kind of smell it's really nice i'm so excited to do the color of my water with this so oh, and i've got a bath bomb to go perfectly with this which yes i do Yes, I do pair my bath bombs and my bowl bars together. I get my bowls and then I get my bath bomb for the colour and the funness of the bath. Um, and it also softens the water really nice and my skin feels amazing. But yeah, I like to pair them and double them up. Okay, so we're moving on to the even more fun stuff, which is the bath bombs, my favourite kind of thing. Um, I love bath bombs. I stock up a lot on bath bombs, as you'll see. <laughs> um, this here is... The, oh, I'm going to start off with the ones that I bought in the first round of things I bought and then we move on to the second round of things that I bought because a lot of that is kind of stuff that comes out every year where these are the newer stuff so we're going to start with a bath bomb shaped like a robot and it's called TikTok um I don't know if it's anything to do with TikTok the app I'm not sure um but he's so pretty he's got gold glitter all over them so if you're not really into glitter you might not like him but it's bright orange and I'm imagining it makes your bath orange um but how cute is he so cute in this one here you've got sweet wild orange oil popping candy so you'll crackle in your bath that is always fun i always appreciate that cassia oil and neroli oil so fruity zesty kind of smelling very uplifting sort of smell orangey all that kind of jazz that i like that'll be nice to use with my orange scrub i think Mm. and yes you'll be covered in, in glitter which is great next then is actually a smaller bath bomb so they don't usually come out in a lot of small ones there's one or two that they have in their normal range the butterball and the build me a buttercup is that still around i don't know they have a couple anyway um or had a couple um but this one here is a small one that came out for christmas it's called the angel's delight and it's pink and it's got a nice beautiful yellow moon on it very nice They're a little bit cheaper so if you want something a little bit more inexpensive or as like a little stocking filler you can get something like this um in this one here you've got orange oil and tangerine oil it's super bright and fresh and everything really nice oh my god very nice <laughs> i'm probably gonna get one of these for my mom because she likes this kind of style of bath bomb where they're a little bit smaller look at the color oh my god that's gonna stain my fingers oh my god it's fine everything stains me so speaking of the smaller bath bombs 
one of the smaller bathrooms that they always have in Lush is Butter Ball. It's so nice. It's, it just doesn't really change the colour of your water. kind of makes it a little bit milky looking. Um, but it's got chunks of cocoa butter in the actual bathroom. So it's so moisturising. It's great if you've got very sensitive skin. So for eczema, anything like that, that's what they always kind of recommend. So this one here gets a revamp every year for Christmas. And it is now Butter Bear. And how cute is he? Um, this one here even got a revamp. Because it used to just be like a normal kind of bear. Just standing there um now he's more of a cartoony bear and he's sitting and he's kind of fat as well which i love and his hand is in the air like that oh. um he's cute i like it. you can you can literally see the chunks of cocoa butter in it as well so super moisturizing kind of smells like chocolate um i have a body lotion that goes with this which i think is really nice and um, they'll be nice to use together super moisturizing super sweet chocolatey just nice Okay, this next one's a bit of an odd one for Christmas. I don't know, I don't even know. Um, this one is called I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. Um, and it's a hippo and he's very cute. Um, kind of a smaller one as well, which I like. Um, he's got gold stars on his back, um, which is lovely. He's a nice pale lavender kind of colour. The colour of the bath would be nice and like a pale purple kind of colour, which would be pretty. Um, he smells like, from what people have said on the internet, like Space Girl bath bomb, if you've ever used that before. Um, very sweet, kind of like a um, jelly babies kind of smell. Very sweet, very brightening, really nice kind of scent. In this one here, we have got cold press raspberry seed oil, which is where you're getting that real fruity kind of smell. Almond essential oil, grapefruit oil, and poppy candies. So he'll also crackle in your bath. How cute is he? It's weird, but I like it. I like weird. Okay, next up is another addition to the snow fairy range um it's it came out last year but it was the first time it came out last year but it's out again this year and this is just called the snow fairy bath bomb and it's got a snowflake on one side so sparkly really really pretty um and it's pink with a white snowflake and then this side is white with a blue snowflake and it just makes this most beautiful purpley pink kind of color in your bath because i've used it last year um it's got also chunks i think of cocoa butter or something on the white side um which I'm imagining is going to be very moisturising. I don't know what it is. It doesn't actually say as far as I can see. No, it doesn't say. It's Snow Fairy scented. It's that candy smell. I'm going to keep saying it. That real candy smell. It's really, really nice. Um, Super sweet. Super, I don't know, magical kind of in your bath. Like a, like a sugar plum kind of scent or... What you would imagine fairies to taste like that's really grim no what you imagine fairies to smell like also a little bit weird but that's better um yeah basically um it's it's just nice and so pretty and magical it's kind of like um frozen <laughs> if if you have any kids that like frozen this is cool Okay, next up, possibly, possibly the award for prettiest bath bomb um, of the new range, anyway. Well, actually, it came out last year as well. Um, this one here is Snowman Dreaming. It's a snowman, but it's got this beautiful array of colours on this side. So you've got purple, blue, yellow and pink. So you'll get a rainbow with all the in-between colours there. Um, and it shoots out the side as a rainbow. It's stunning. I did use this last year and the colours are actually even more vibrant here now. So very excited about I'll probably go one of these for my mum as well because it's really nice this one here has got lavender oil and cedarwood oil and it's that it's quite um floral um but still soft in a floral way it's not too overpowering or headachey or anything like that it just has this really nice soft florally kind of scent really nice my mum actually really likes this I've already showed her this one so I probably will get one for Christmas so Okay, and then this last one for this little section of bath bombs is one that I'm 
probably the most excited about and I don't know why and it doesn't look like anything special compared to all the other ones this is not super colorful it's not anything but I know it's like something I've used before that I wish they would bring back so much this one here is the winter garden it's a white bath bomb it's a smaller bath bomb it's got all flowery bits florally bits inside Um, this one here smells like what do you smell like ylang ylang which i love it's got pink delphinum petals correct me on the pronounce pronunciation of that and um, marigold petals and also blue cornflowers um it's got the ylang ylang oil um bergamot oil and fair trade organic cocoa butter basically a couple of years ago lush two years in a row came out with this bath bomb called stardust it's shaped like a star it's like a whitish kind of color but on the inside it has this very soft blue color a little bit sparkly has the most glorious smell um which this has yep yeah. And they actually were demoing it in store when I was buying this and they showed it to me and it does, it kind of gives you that real milky sort of look to your bath. That bath bomb needs to make a comeback or make this one come out all year round because I am planning on buying like 10 of these by the end of the year. I'm gonna do when the stores open back up because half of this stuff, the stuff I'm gonna show you in a few minutes, I actually did on a second order I did a click and collect order the other stuff I went into store for and I do prefer to into store because I like seeing the people in there um but when I go back in again I'm gonna get my mum two of these I'm buying myself five of these I'm going to get whatever gifts I have it in as well um this is my kind of thing a real luxurious chic kind of bath oh I love all my weird ones and all the colorful and sparkly ones I love all that but this is so me and it's the ylang ylang is what you really smell um it's a super sweet floral but sophisticated kind of scent it's like oh it, it oh just get it just go get it and it's small so it's not even that expensive you'll also with that one as well have the flower petals in your water so you're gonna feel so expensive okay so now we're getting into the last six bath bombs that i bought on my second round of going to get my stuff um and these are a lot of repeats that come out every single year and yeah that's basically it it's it's a lot of the stuff that comes out every year they're the classics that everyone tends to go for and i like at least one of these of each of these a year um but i don't necessarily stock up on it because i have a feeling they usually come out every year so we're going to start with the luxury lush pud which is a very old classic um it used to be brown then they changed it to pink with spots and it used to smell like twilight which is a lavender tonka smell which is a sweet sort of lavender it's the sleepy scent if you've ever used that same scent and um, it used to be that which i'm sad they got rid of that scent and they changed it to the comforter scent which is more of a berry kind of scent so in this now is blackcurrant absolute bergamot oil and cypress oil it's super fruity and just really uplifting and sweet as well which i like i still prefer the twilight scent but I still love it either way you get the most beautiful bath art so you have all your colored spots in it i think they put more spots in it this year they used only i think i'm pretty sure they only used to do the four on top or three on top but they put some around the bottom i don't know hmm. um super pretty super nice and bright i'm pretty sure it goes kind of a purpley color or a bright pink it's nice it's a great one it's a classic you should always have at least tried it once in your lifetime I just actually noticed there I forgot that I got a Halloween one <laughs> another one um I bought another um monsters ball it I already had gone through this in my Halloween one, but I just thought because I since I bought it it's there I might as well talk about it um very limey um but a sweet lime not a really sour lime um kind of scent this scent has become a smell that reminds me of Halloween now because I've used it so much and I have the body lotion to go with it. I wish I had a shower gel to go with it I would buy that again if it came out again I haven't ever used it but I want one um but yeah this is really nice super nice and bright and everything like that the colors come out really vibrant it's a cute little cyclops monster it's just a kind of sweet lime sort of smell it's very nice okay and the next up is definitely a classic that I'm sure most anyone who has used Lush over the past few Christmases has probably used one of these. This is the Golden Wonder. It's a gift. It is a gift from God. Um, 
like a orangey book fizz kind of scent to it. Really like orangey and zesty and citrusy and really nice. But but definitely has a books fizz kind of scent to it. It does smell like a winey kind of scent as well. Um, it does have wine lease oil. I don't know what that is. I'm imagining it's some form of alcohol beverage. Um, lime oil and sweet orange, sweet wild orange oil. Um, it's so nice. It's got gold shimmer all around. So I'm holding it like this because I don't want to get it everywhere. Um, not glitter, but it's just like a lustery kind of thing. And inside there is a gift. And that's all I'm going to say because you have to find out what it is for yourself. Yeah. Doesn't make your water boring, let's just say that. When you shake it, you can actually hear something inside. Can I just say that this is the cleanest looking bath bomb? It's so perfectly done. Um, How perfect does that look? It looks... There's no dents, there's no powderiness, there's no nothing. It's, it's the perfect bath bomb. This one here is the Jingle Bells. Yes, Jingle Bells bath bomb. This one here is all white, it's got the pink on top. Um, it also has something inside. Yeah, um, I'm imagining it changes color. I can't really remember, I'm sure I had this before. I had a bigger version of this. I remember, I remember being bigger. This is like their standard size bath bomb. I remember being slightly bigger, like the, the bomb bombs, like the really big ones. But I can't really remember. I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway, this is beautiful. This is the most stunning bath bomb I've ever seen because it's the cleanest looking bath bomb. There's no dents. There's nothing missing from the bottom of it or anything. Um, in this one here, you've got Brazilian orange oil. You've got coarse sea salt, which I can kind of hear inside. And patchouli oil. I'm imagining because there's blue spots in the bottom that goes, has blue on the inside. I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, stunning. Definitely smells, like I can definitely smell the orange. Um... I think the patchouli is kind of there to kind of ground it just a little bit so it's not too citrusy but without making it super super spicy lovely can't wait okay second last bath bomb we are getting there this is the shoe for the stars bath bomb it's got beautiful gold stars and these are also oil so they're they melt in your bath they're like chunks of butter and they um just melt they're cocoa butter um, and they melt in your bath and they make it super sparkly and nice but the colour of your water goes the most vibrant blue you will ever see in your entire life um, in this one here you've got the fair trade cocoa butter which is the chunky bits you've got the creamed coconut Brazilian orange oil almond oil this smells like honey the honey I wash the kids soap the honey I wash the kids hair uh, shampoo bar um, the fair trade honey I don't know it doesn't have honey in it though because it is vegan as far as I'm aware. I don't think it has any honey in it. Which is impressive that they can make it like that. That's impressive. Um, Very pretty. This smelled exactly like the honeybee bath bomb. Exactly like the honeybee bath bomb. And the honeybee bath bomb was my first ever bath bomb from Lush. So I have such a good memory with this. It started a very, very slow decline for my wallet. Oh, it just smells like honey. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, last one is a big boy and it's another Snow Fairy product. <laughs> I've got a lot of Snow Fairies here. I don't normally, but I kind of do. Um, Especially the bath bombs. I love the bath bombs. This one here is called the Snow Fairy Wonder Ball and it's a big boy. Look at this. And look how big. So they had these out um last year and they had uh, four different ones. Um, But the star was about half the size of this and it kind of plugs the top because inside there's loose stuff it's filled with bath bomb like broken up bath bomb and just everything and but the size of this this is its own bath bomb this was like the other one was like the size of that little circular part this is ginormous look how thick it is and they've fully packed it as well like it's completely packed to the brim the other one wasn't as packed um and it just has that super sweet candy sort of smell like the um, every other Snow Fairy product that they sell. Um, this one here, what does it say? It says how to use. Take the star lid, take off the star lid, and sprinkle the contents of the bomb under running water for bubbles. It's kind of like a bubble bar kind of thing. Um, you could also run a bath and drop the star, drop in the star lid, or number three, 
run a bath and drop the whole pink shell in so like you can kind of do three baths drop the whole thing in like the way i kind of did it was i would put this in as its own thing and then on a separate bath put this in as was i did sprinkle it in sometimes i did just kind of put put it in and watch the water come up through like it'll break down this bit first and then it'll come up through the actually you'll see it fill up that way it's good i really enjoy these they've only got the one this year as far as i can see but this is a good one this is a big boy big boy all right guys so that is our lush haul um i always love this video every year i get so excited about it and um, i can't wait to have all my baths i'm so many i've enough bath bombs to do me until january <laughs> and then some probably as well because i still have one or two halloween bath bombs um but i have enough yeah i usually have two baths three baths a week so yeah i'll i'll get through these i do love my bath bombs for a reason so i that shower gel is gonna die with me that big shower gel that's gonna die with me i'm never gonna get through that i'm too small to use that all up so mum's gonna have to help me with that which she'll be delighted um i am very happy with the range i think they did a good job this year with some nice new products some fun new products all the repeats are back or most of the repeats are back they usually don't bring back one or two um but the main ones are always there the lush pud the golden wonder i don't actually think they'll ever release a year with no golden wonder touch wood don't jinx that um but yeah i really liked it if you also liked it give a big thumbs up down below it really helps out getting the video around to people so more people can see these sort of videos so do that please also hit subscribe down below to see more of my lush videos i always have them thrown in every now and again um and i may plan on doing some other lushy bits during the year that aren't necessarily hauls they're just other lushy things um also leave me a comment down below let me know what's your favorite product from this year's range have you got any of this stuff and i want to know what you've used maybe already or are you planning or are you hoping that someone will get you for christmas so yeah that is everything and i will see you in the next video guys bye